no one can escape from death. Unfortunately, this is not the end or the beginning. For such a long time, we have experienced various types of suffering, tragedies, and disasters. The body is waiting for diseases, and as rare as it is to be born as a human being, it is even rare to hear the Four Noble Truths. Namo Buddhaya. You have now come to the world news and the Buddha's great message session where we read the news that happened around the world and what lessons we can learn from these news according to the Supreme Buddha's teachings. My name is Subodha and today I am here at Dinara. Our human life is very uncertain. It is fragile like foam, unable to bear any pressure. It is like a water bubble, not remaining very long. No one can escape from death, so there is no point in crying. Death can come anytime. It doesn't matter if we are healthy or wealthy. We all have to go when it is time. We cannot challenge or avoid it. A tower block that is the base for international media in Gaza has been hit, causing it to collapse. An hour after, people were told to evacuate the building as fighting raged. We meet numerous people throughout our course of life. They could be our relatives in this extremely long journey of samsara. See how helpless we all are. Unfortunately, this is not the end or the beginning. For such a long time, we have experienced various types of suffering, tragedies, and disasters. We have filled the cemetery with our dead bodies. A countless number of times, we have faced tragedies like this. Tomorrow, this could happen to me, my family, and my friends. Our Supreme Buddha taught us that the tears we have shed over the death of a mother is greater than the water in the four great oceans. Our life is full of suffering, and this is what we should expect when we are going in this endless samsara. Therefore, my dear Dhamma friends, accumulate many merits and escape from this dangerous samsara. Namo Bhattaya. My name is Dinara. The body is waiting for diseases. Even though we decorate it every day, we have to leave it one day. When the rain falls heavily, the bubbles quickly vanish and do not last long. In the same way, our human life is like a bubble. It is brief and fleeting, filled with pain and misery. This is the true nature of our life. Whoever is born, they will die. Our Supreme Buddha says, nothing is permanent. Like an enemy, death chases after one constantly. So we should all understand the true nature of this body. Let's see the news now. One of the most vaccinated countries in the world is experiencing a COVID-19 outbreak. While the other nations struggle to secure enough vaccines, the Seychelles is in the enviable position of having already fully immunized more than 61.4% of the population. But that has not been enough to stop the spread of COVID-19. We are born in the human world due to a merit. My dear Dhamma friends, in this long journey of Sansara, one is not always born as a human being. And as rare as it is to be born as a human being, it is even rare to hear the Four Noble Truths. The majority of people did not get the opportunity to hear our Supreme Buddha's teachings or did not get a chance to meet any Kalyanamitas who teach Supreme Dhamma. They have wasted their life chasing after material things. Many who missed this rare opportunity suffer falling into hell. But as sons and daughters of our Gautam Buddha, we should not miss this rare opportunity. So my dear Dhamma friends, today the teachings of the Gautam Buddha are present. You are born in the human world. So do not miss this rare opportune moment. We will see you all next week. Terawan Saranai. Namo Buddhaya.